What's going on my curious bunch of health fanatics? Welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, we'll delve into something that may cause dementia or even Alzheimer's. Yes, there is something that is literally sitting right under your nose, which has been implicated in the onset of either dementia or Alzheimer's disease. So what could this be? But first, a quick message to the Google moderators. We are not selling any product or service. This video is not an advertisement. We discuss science for educational and informational purposes as per the Google guidelines. Okay, with that out the way, let's dive in. All right, let's start with the basics. What exactly is periodontal disease? Well, it's a severe gum infection that damages the soft tissue and destroys the bone that supports your teeth. It's typically caused by poor oral hygiene that leads to a buildup of plaque and bacteria along the gum line. If left untreated, it can result in tooth loss and other serious complications. Now, here's where things get interesting. Recent studies have suggested a potential link between periodontal disease and Alzheimer's disease. Researchers have found that the bacteria associated with periodontal disease can actually travel from the mouth into the bloodstream and in some cases even reach the brain. One key player in this connection is inflammation. Periodontal disease triggers a chronic inflammatory response in the body. This inflammation could contribute to the development and progression of Alzheimer's disease. Inflammation is believed to play a role in the formation of amyloid plaques and tor tangles in the brain, the hallmark features of Alzheimer's. Our immune system plays a vital role in protecting our body against infections. But when the immune response becomes chronic due to conditions like periodontal disease, it can lead to unintended consequences. So what can we do to minimize this potential link between periodontal disease and Alzheimer's? Well, it all starts with maintaining excellent oral hygiene. Brushing, flossing, and regular dental checkups are crucial. If you're at high risk of periodontal disease, like smokers or people with diabetes, extra care is even more important. Now, it's important to note that while these findings are intriguing, more research is needed to establish a definite cause and effect relationship between periodontal disease and Alzheimer's. But so far, as a researcher and seeing the research, I could consider the evidence quite strong. So if brain aging is important to you and maintaining a super sharp mind is paramount, then practice good oral hygiene. And if you are interested in just how powerful the microbiome is and how much control the microbiome has over your health, I'll link to another video up in this corner shortly. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, second edition out now. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.